Oh. That's right, I've got Apple's new iMac based on their M1 silicon right inside this box. We're going to unbox it and we're going to review it and learn all about it. So here it is, Apple's new iMac based on their M1 silicon, their M1 chip. It's honestly, it's gorgeous. I, I'm not going to exaggerate. This is, I'm not exaggerating. This is a beautiful system. So you got that green color, obviously, but you know, they really, uh, you know, they really kind of worked on redesigning it too. Let's just take a look at the profile here. Let's just spin it. I mean, <laughs> look at this. Look at it. It's, in fact, the packaging is heavier than the than the computer. That's they they packed it in there quite nicely, and it's got yeah, you know, it's got a nice hinge here. So you've got some adjustment. Uh, there are your uh, your four your four USB C ports. There, uh, two of them are Thunderbolt ports. Powers right here. There's the updated keyboard with touch touch ID on it magic trackpad with uh, again the uh, the green the green on it and we've got a magic mouse again gorgeous green color here there's all the uh, all the cables and and this is the this is the power brick which also has uh, Ethernet I believe it has the Ethernet adapter, the port right there. All right, so I powered it up. Uh, um, I'm still setting up the brand new uh, iMac, uh, but a couple of things that you should know. It's a 24 inch display. Uh, it's a 4.5K uh, retina display. So it's a high resolution. Uh, there's a little mouse on it that's so tiny right now. The whole device weighs about 9.8 pounds. So it's fairly light. Uh, you know, you can adjust the screen with basically one hand. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're just setting it up. Uh, we're going to get uh, the benchmarks going, but uh, it's, really, uh, it's really gorgeous. So it's also worth noting that the FaceTime camera is uh, HD. It's 1080p, so uh, some nice uh, video conferencing uh, capabilities on uh, this device. So this is a True Tone display, and actually True Tone is uh, on right now, which uh, you know cuts out a lot of the blue and helps with uh, eye strain. I love just doing this, hitting the button. This is without True Tone. This is with it. Without. With it. The setup is more or less complete. See the screen. Again, it's gorgeous. It's big. Okay, so uh, we're starting to run. Um, we're starting to run Geekbench, Geekbench Five on here. But uh, the first thing, the first thing I've noticed is that we've got uh, the processor listed as the the M1, Apple's M1, and it's running at 3.2 gigahertz. Uh, we're backed by 16 gigabytes of RAM. So uh, that's a fairly beefy system. Uh, you know, as you know, the, the M1 chip performance, uh, especially on the graphics side, can be pretty impressive. But we're going to run the benchmark numbers and see uh, how they line up with other M1 systems we've run in the past. Like, for example, uh, the uh, Apple MacBook Air, which has an M1 chip. So uh, the Geekbench uh, CPU numbers are pretty much in line with what I'd expect. Uh, we have uh, single core, 1727, multi core. 7429 and uh, so if you take a look at the MacBook Air running M1 you'll see that uh, 1739 and 7619 so nominal difference uh, basically the same and uh, so I should I'm going to expect similar performance but we're also going to run the compute scores the uh, the basically the graphic benchmark to see uh, how those numbers compare because that that'll really get into the performance on sort of you know 4k video editing gaming things like that so we've uh, now I've run the compute numbers uh, the OpenCL score uh, on Geekbench 5 8 
18677. Uh, that's uh, on the iMac, the 24 inch iMac running uh, M1. And just to see how that compares to the MacBook Air running uh, the M1, it's 18545. So uh, Apple hasn't updated the M1 chip between, uh, you know, this is not a new generation. This is still essentially the same thing. Performance is going to be, a, that's, a, that's a really good number. It's a high number. I expect that we're going to see some really good performance uh, for a whole, a whole range of uh, tasks. So I've installed a bunch of apps, including uh, Pixelmator uh, Pro, which uh, pushes the graphics capability of the system. Uh, so I'm just going to fiddle around with some of the controls on the photo to see how quickly it responds. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can just um, use it to remove. Mm. That might be a little bit too strong, but uh, we can also do things like um, quickly brighten. And then we want to make it more dramatic. And we're also going to just add a little bit of highlight here. So, a couple of the thoughts about this uh, display 24 inches. Uh, obviously, it's a retina display. Uh, high resolution 4.5K resolution and 500 nits of brightness. So incredible brightness, incredible, incredible color gamut. Uh, there's a richness to this screen uh, that really just pulls you in. So again, just a, a little bit of a really remarkable Something else I appreciate about uh, Apple's uh, ecosystem here, uh, if I'm on all recipes on my phone and I go to air fryer recipes and uh, this, this, this shrimp one looks pretty good. And then if I look over here at the computer at the iMac and I click on that, Basically, it's the exact same thing. So, let's see if we can play a game. Now, this is Apple Arcade, and I have no idea what the controls are for this. Seems like I can run quite a few things at the same time. Let's see. Hello? Hello. How's it going? So how do how do I look? You you got uh um, how is this a test of how you look? I mean, if, if I'm looking at you from my, from my screen, which is the iPhone X. Yeah, but you would still see, in theory, you would still see an image quality uh, difference, 1080p, as opposed to something like 720p or whatever. It's, when you say 1080p or 720p, it makes me laugh. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just think I guess I never hear anybody actually say it. <laughs> you just read it. Um, I mean, it looks like the detail. The detail looks sharp enough. So, what do I think of Apple's new uh, iMac? Well, it's completely redesigned. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's it's going to look good in pretty much any room. Yes, it's a big screen. It's a 24-inch display, but um, you know. Make it your TV in your bedroom, and you can put this thing up on the wall if you want. Uh, it's capable of of virtually any task. Uh, starts for twelve ninety nine uh, with eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but if you're going for more pro level stuff, you might go uh, up to sixteen gigabytes of RAM, uh, which is a little bit more expensive. But um, it's a beautiful system. It's lightweight. It's thin. 
uh, the Apple uh, M1 silicon provides uh, plenty of power, more than enough power for, for your needs, I'd say. Uh, it's capable of uh, many tasks at once, multiple desktops. Uh, I was, I really had a hard time uh, pushing it beyond its limits. It runs quiet, it runs cool, a little bit of, uh, you feel a little bit of heat coming out of the bottom here. Uh, the, the display is incredible. 4.5K, uh, beautiful, bright. Uh, the audio is shockingly powerful and crisp and clear and uh, sounds really good. And uh, you know the new keyboard with the Touch ID uh, makes it really easy to unlock, uh, to do Apple Pay. Uh, and if you have multiple people using the system, uh, they can quickly touch it and switch off uh, to different, uh, to different uh, uh, profiles super easy this is a this is a new this is a new start for iMac it's a brand new uh, design feel power uh, performance uh, aesthetic I, I have to say I really I really like it I'm very impressed with the look and the feel and the performance thanks for watching remember to rate review and subscribe